Dear colleagues, dear friends, only six months after taking on the role of president of the International Association of War and Society, it feels like an entire lifetime has passed dedicated to the association. Many exciting developments happened in such a short period of time. As said in my first message, as the IAF's president, one of the key aspects of my presidency is to bring the associations to our members, to you. It is for me a pleasure to inform you personally of some of the most important news concerning the association's life. The mission of the International Association is to improve the quality and safety of healthcare worldwide through the advancement of patient care, education, and research in oral and medical society. To implement our mission, we need to have an adequate and sustainable structure. Important changes have occurred in the last months at the IM's headquarters. Our past executive director, Mr. Pierre Desi, was offered a career opportunity out of the association he could not refuse. It is now my big pleasure to introduce to you our new executive director, Mr. Mitch Forak. Mr. Forak is uh, acting as the, uh, the executive director since April and has a huge experience working with non-profit organizations. I'm sure that the new executive director will continue working to contribute to the growth of the association. Besides that, sadly I have to inform you that Lisa Markovic left the association after many years of dedication due to personal reasons. May I wish her all the best in her career. We know that our current administrative proceedings needed improving and that membership renewal was often difficult. Our staff is working hard in solving these problems. I kindly ask you to inform the IOMS headquarters on any problems you could experience concerning your membership. Proudly, we launched the new IAOMS website. The new website will be not only a platform to improve membership man management, but also a tool to participate to the association life. The new website includes also exciting educational opportunities like our e-learning program and also the review course. The review course is designed to support preparing the international board examination. A landmark which will have a critical input on the future evolution of the International Association was the meeting of the Board of Directors and Executive Committee held in Madrid, Spain in late April. The meeting was extraordinarily successful and included also a strategy session acting as facilitators to the spurs of our core professional council organization Barcelona. During the meetings, the preliminary results of the member survey, which was conducted early in the presidency, were presented at the, and also the new ICOMS guidelines and the new IAOMS committee structure were approved. We, as an association, have one of our most important missions is education. We continue offering exciting educational opportunities worldwide. Recently, the International Association Foundation awarded the 2016-2017 fellowships. The Education Committee continues developing programs at the global level. It is also my pleasure to announce that the International Association of Oral and Maxillarian will launch a new project consisting in the organization of international symposia to be held at the highest level in the different regions of the world in order to increase our presence and increasing also members engagement during the non-ICOMS periods. The opening symposium of this new project will take place in Medellin, Colombia in October 2016 in a strong collaboration with the Latin American Association and also with the Colombian Association. Last but not least, let me remind you those important dates. March 31st, April 3rd, 2017, when the global oral and maxillofacial community will meet in Hong Kong.
at the 23rd International Conference on Oral and Masturbation Arts Surgery, our ICOMS. The organizing committee, chaired by Nabil Saman, is working very hard in order to prepare an amazing scientific and social event. May I invite you to visit the conference website at www.icoms2017.com and to send your scientific works. I look forward to meeting all of you in Hong Kong. Dear colleagues and friends, I would like to end this presentation expressing my gratitude to the whole board of directors and the executive committee of the association, to our staff at the third quarter, and very especially to all of you for everything you are doing for the International Association. Remind me at your disposal. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.